Hello and welcome to the stock market analysis. Let's continue to look at the S&P 500. Now, uh, this is a futures chart and well, yesterday we had a kind of doji type of pattern. As you can see, the reason why there was a doji because there was support area here and there was indecision. But the stock <coughs> did not even rise it where when the market did not even rise to at least half of the red candle despite there being support around his area and this shows bearishness and today we have a continuation of the sell off so um, support is very near that we might uh, go down a bit and then bounce out a bit that is uh, not uh, unusual and the next area of nice support will probably be around here maybe a bit of support around these four candles here now uh, some things that are not good is that stock breaks below an uptrend line has gone below the 20 ma and 50 ma and there's something not very positive usually and when we look at the 60 minute chart it's uh, still below the 200 ma and that's why you must continue to be bearish or at least be cautious don't long stocks because 75 percent of stocks they follow the direction of uh, the general markets now the uh, s p 500 is break below this consolidation area so this will become a resistance if it goes down uh, goes up it might hit this resistance and continue to move down now uh, when should we be bullish i would say that if you look at this two hour chart at least you draw draw a downtrend line if it doesn't go above this downtrend line you should be really really careful and of thinking of long so you can see even in the two hour chart the 20 ma is declining 50 ma is declining and 200 ma is declining which is very bearish and you should be careful you should be bearish and be cautious not to long stocks in the u.s stock market now let's take a look at uh the spy spy tell also tells the same story it mimics the movement of the s p 500 right so um the 20 MA is curving down, maybe the 50 MA is getting flat, but the 200 MA is still rising. So this tells us that we have uh, short term weaknesses in long term strength. So if it declines to about this area or I don't know, if, or even if it meets the 200 MA, this could be a very good buying opportunity in the long run. Now, uh, if we take a look at DIA, uh, it's already below the 20 ma below the 50 ma something that usually you do not want to see you can see that it has stayed above the 50 ma for a very long time until here the very big bearish bar and that's not something good at this moment all right but something positive about the ia is that there is a lot of support here so that is why we did not see it for as hard as the s p 500 maybe it might go down a bit more and we want to see if a uh, bullish reversal pattern appears here so um if it just trades sideways and eventually trades lower this support will be eroded and the next area to see will be the uh, 200 ma especially if there's a bearish cross going on so so this support area is very important you want to watch it <coughs> and uh, 60 minute chart of DIA shows that it is still in a very bearish downtrend below the declining 20 MA, 50 MA, and declining 200 MA. So you should continue to be bearish on DIA unless it can go back above this downtrend line and the 20 MA and 50 MA, and there's a bullish cross that forms. Uh, QQQs, well, after the negative rate bar, we kind of have a, a doji kind of pattern and today it continues to fall. So if it uh, it has already broken below this uh, support area, so the next stop might be here. So if you look at the um, 60 minute chart, you can see that the uh, queues already dropped below this consolidation so we might see more selling it's uh, below the declining 20 ma 50 ma and 200 ma which points to bearishness and so you have to be very careful because it might go down to this 
area. So don't long tech stocks. Be careful. Stay on the sideline at this moment. And uh, of course, this will be a resistance area as well. Okay, resistance, small resistance, bigger resistance here. Now, um, let's take a look at that. SMH semiconductors are challenging the 50 MA and looks like it does not want to hold. This is actually a continuation pattern where there's a large red bar, then a green bar that cannot even go above the top of uh, half of the bearish bar here. And then uh, once the selling goes below the lows of this green bar, it just continues to go down. So support. We want to see if uh, 50 MA holds. If it does not hold, there's no bottoming tail form. By the end of the trading day, you might see continue to see erode and go down and meet to this uh, support area. So be careful with uh, semi stocks at this moment because if the SMH falls, a lot of things like Nvidia, AMD, uh, and so on will not be doing very, very well. Uh, tech sector is not doing very well at this moment. You can see that the 20 MA is just curving down. We might have a bearish uh, cross soon in the daily chart. Last time we had a bullish cross, we had a very nice rise. And if there's a bearish cross and the support here does not hold, like this is the support area. If, if we have a bearish cross and the support area does not hold, the the tech sector cannot bounce back. We might see the next selling down to this area. And this will be not very good for a lot of tech stocks, especially Apple, Nvidia, and so on, which are in the tech sector. So watch this support area and watch this support area. Now, Apple <coughs> is challenging this support area. This will be a very, very important support area for Apple and also for the S&P 500 because Apple is quite a major component of the three major indexes. If this support does not hold, it will continue to drop and maybe even uh, drop to about here, which won't be good for the markets. All right, so watch Apple very carefully. Uh, declining 20 MA and 50 MA and 200 MA is still telling a bearish picture for Apple at the moment. Now, consumer discretionary has uh, kind of eroded. It has actually shown signs of uh, topping some time ago, broke above, below the downtrend line, formed a double top. And when it broke below the 50 MA and 20 MA, uh, things got bad. But right now, it's sitting at the 200 MA and support here. So you want to watch this area carefully. If the support does not hold, 200 MA does not hold, you might see it further selling down to this area around here and mm, consumer staples are also already very weak it has already dropped below uh, kind of uptrend line I have a bearish cross soon and if it continues to fall my fall to the 200 MA uh, basic materials are at the 50 MA support, but it doesn't look very strong to me. But you have uh, quite a lot of support in the weekly chart, so that might help to halt the drop, right? And uh, if it stabilizes here at the 50 MA, you might see it bounce up a bit. There's quite a lot of strong support here, so something to think about. Now, overall, the uh, Let's look at the gold market. Gold futures still uh, trending higher, chugging higher, rising to 20 MA. The price thing above the rising 20 MA tells us to remain uh, bullish on gold markets, not bearish unless it drops below the 20 MA. And uh, crude oil prices, well, we have a dip in group uh, in oil prices right now. So uh, let me draw this trend line. It's challenging this uptrend line and uh, looks like this support, previous high support 
is not holding very well. If it continues to drop below this support area and this uptrend line, we may see more weaknesses in oil where it might drop to the 50 MA. And this might hurt a lot of oil stocks. You can look at Marathon Oil. Uh, Marathon Oil has already declined by quite a lot here because of weaknesses in oil. So uh, previous high resistance around here. And Bitcoin. All right. All right, Bitcoin is not doing very well at this moment. Yeah, it failed to break above this uh, downtrend. That uh, is, it failed to break up higher. A failed triangle breakout. Now it's moving down, and at the support area. And if this support does not hold, you might have a bearish cross, and then it might just decline and meet the next support area here, which might be around the area where the 200 MA is rising. So um, hope this analysis helps you continue to be bearish in the US stock market for the short term. We are in a short term weakness in a long term uh, strength. So if you're a short term trader, do be careful, be cautious not to simply end the stocks unless there's a very uh, good reason for you. So I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next one.